All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Blah, blah, blah. All right, very good, very good. You know, actually, you know what? I'm going to up the volume gain just a tad bit because I don't want to blow your ears out. So let's try 0 0.6 gain. Let's do a whole... Let's do one whole decibel gain. Let's do it slowly, nice and slow, because I still don't see it hitting the red, but it's getting a little. It's getting some kind, sometimes kind of close. So, anyway, I thought I was going to, uh, you know, bash Joe Kent, all right, because he betrayed us. Uh, he betrayed the movement America First, right, while pretending to be America First. Uh, but you know, I just did the silent prayer, so maybe I won't go so hard. I mean, I really should, but St. Nick already kind of did that, and I'm still, like, only a third through, a third of his uh, very long show about it, so and I still have a lot to catch up on, but anyway, you know, it's just, uh, if you don't know who Joe Kent is, he's this uh, now corrupt prick who's like, you know, like a a diehard, like, you know, right-wing Republican, like, yeah, I'm going to put America first, and my wife died to ISIS and all that, which is very sad, by the way. I actually read, like, that was actually all over the news. So, and, and that's just basically that. Oh, and he also happens to talk a lot of shit about China, right? But not, not a certain other country that's also, you know, effing us in the ass. So, anyway, long story short, he betrayed us, he talked a lot of shit, he disavowed the movement, which I didn't like, which St. Nick didn't like, and obviously everyone else did not like. Uh, and you know, he's, now he's taking money from the same globalists that got his wife killed. That, that's the saddest part to me, I think. right? And I don't know if he knows that, or if he thinks he can outplay them, or if he doesn't know. I'm not really sure. But whatever the case is, it's both sad and really screwed up. So, you know, fuck you, Joe Kent, you fucking piece of shit. I always knew you were kind of suspicious because you would always talk a lot of shit towards Chinese people in China. But not others, right? Not anyone else, right? That's actually how I can always tell that you're probably a corrupt right-wing F-word, right? You know, you, you're allowed to criticize Muslims and Chinese people, but not others, so, what the hell, man? And I'm just a little bit more, like, high T, like, a little more aggressive. Because yesterday, when I went... I forgot what I did yesterday, but I know I got pizza, and I went for a walk or something. Oh, I had to do gro a bunch of grocery shopping, too. Right? This homeless... Like, the uh, this homeless, uh, dangerous minority, I better not say is race, but we all know who it is, right? Uh, was walking down the street towards me. And, like, he was obviously homeless, he was, you know, unkempt, and he just said, you dead, you're dead, you're dead. He was, like, basically kind of verbally, like, threatening people, but not really doing much, right? And then he said it to me, and then kept glaring at me, and I was like, eh. But, you know, I, but in case, but nothing happened, right? Uh, but that also is because, you know, I'm a pretty kind of big guy. Not as big as Kevu, right? Because he posted a picture of himself, like, yeah, that guy is jacked, like, <laughs> Like, he could definitely, like, tear someone in half if he wanted to with those, like, muscles he's got. But anyway, I had my, I had my bat with me, so, like, if it, like, if, if that asshole threatened me, like, he was going down, you know. He's, he's, I gotta, keep, I gotta watch what I say, but he's definitely going down, you know. He's, he's, you know, no one's gonna take me down without a fight, all right, and they're gonna get fucked up real bad, all right, so. But, you know, I'm really annoyed because now this, like, you know, home, this mass homeless crime problem and this anti-Chinese shit is really starting to affect me personally. I'm, like, getting kind of... Well, I'm not getting kind of pissed. Maybe I am, but it's like, you know, I would like something to be done about it, which, of course, is not going to happen, so, you know. And it's just that when I see people like Joe Kent, right, that stupid F word, just doing shit like this that keeps perpetuating the cycle, then I have to pay for it. Like, you pay for it. Because what, what would happen if something were to happen to me, and then I just stopped doing these videos because of it? Like, let's say I'm in the hospital. Which, funny enough, I've been to many, I've been to hospitals several times in my lifetime, all right? So I'm not actually a stranger to a freaking hospital, right? That actually affects you, too, right? Because you're like, well, shit, where am I going to get my info from? I mean, yeah, you have Dow King and Renzo and, I guess, uh, EAM Crypto, right? But I sometimes find projects that no one else covers, too. So that that is an actual negative for you. So that's why this stuff is kind of important, all right? So anyway, I want to put that out there. I mean, it'll be kind of nice that one day I'll have, like, 100,000, 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. 
that uh, of course all of you are watching and then like you know I can actually start affecting things all right so so before I move on to hamster money which is a pretty nice website it's hilarious you know I just want to part with Joe Kett fuck you you're a fucking traitor fuck you I feel bad about your wife, but that makes it even worse because you're helping the very same people that got her killed. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. I would never do that. I would never do that. And I'm going to take money from them, too. That's the worst part. Now you now there are going to be more more people dying as a result of you doing what you're doing. All right? That's, look what's happening with Russia and Ukraine, man. You're, you're really messed up, man. You're really messed up. So hopefully you lose your uh, congressional run, but I mean it's a pr it's kind of late in the cycle, so you might win. But if you do win, you won't be you won't be getting reelected after uh, the next cycle. You fucking traitor! Fuck you, Joe Kent. Anyway, uh, so anyway, with that out of the way, you know, let's uh, let's go with this. So I think cryptos are actually doing a little better today. Yeah, they're doing a little bit better, but. <laughs> So not surprisingly, Phantom is still lagging. Let me see here. Where are you? Dollar twenty-one. Okay. Well, it's still better from yesterday because I think it was like a dollar fourteen. But all right. So normally cryptocurrencies go down on a Friday and throughout the entire weekend because you know no trade volume. But this is actually a really good sign. So maybe we might see some relief. And we got the Federal Reserve finally doing something. Something hopefully this Wednesday. So if they do what they should be doing, which should be a 95% chance, right, of raising interest rates, the market, like Greg Manorino says, should go off, right? They'll get off, well, they'll get off on it. They'll go up, and hopefully that should pull up cryptocurrencies too, and then all these tomb forks can start recovering, right? Because you'll notice a bunch of, a lot of my tomb fork positions are actually lower. Surprisingly, not that much. Um, it, uh, it's very surprising. And some and like zombie finance is going up, right? I expect Snowy Owl to go up too once we get closer to Genesis start, right? Because it all because it always it always ramps up like a couple hours before like a new pool starts. So yeah, so it's looking all right. So you guys just have to hold on a little longer, right? Again, just keep compounding on Yield Wolf, keep taking profits every day. You know, in fact, I might be switching my strategy. I might actually just be going to stable coins and then let these things drop. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens after Wednesday. I'll re I'll I'll see what to do. You know, God will tell me what to do. So, uh, I I think I might have come up with a new method of finding new projects as well. All I have to do is just look into the Yield Wolf uh, Discord and just look at the new pools that they had. So they literally just added this pool like a couple hours ago. So I should really keep this to myself because I only have like 33 bucks in here or, 30, or something like that. I obviously want to put in a lot more uh, and I will. So this is basically another one of those uh, tomb forks on Phantom, of course. Pegged one to one to Phantom. So, you know, one of the reasons why that rare finance is getting cucked so bad is because they're tied to based and then based is tied to two, which isn't doing well. So they're so they've got like a lot of problems. So I don't know, but I think when all this Andre Condre and Phantom Fud passes over, you know, we should be, uh, you know, it, it should get back to normal. So, so long story short, Hamster Money looks really good. There's actually extras about us. Why there's going to be extra tabs that we're going to go through, if I could find it. Oh yeah, the documentation. There it is. I don't know why I put it like that. I guess I had my reasons. Uh, I'm not going to link to these documentation. I'm just here just to show you the info. <clears throat> but obviously, if you really want or curious, you can just go to the docs yourself. <clears throat> so, I don't know how new <clears throat> this project is, but I'm assuming it's kind of new new ish. So, this uses the Smart APR system. That's why I also checked the documents for that. Uh, let's see. And they also have a pretty reasonable expansion. I'm not too thrilled that the that's 4.5 percent for less than 500k. So it's still I still feel that's a lot. I prefer to see something like around 1 percent or less, 1.5 percent, and nothing higher than that. Uh, so you know we'll we'll see how much it prints. But it, they they do say in the documents. I'm not I'm not going to show it here because you know interest of time. 
but they do say they really want to make sure that you know this thing doesn't get over pegged so they so it's on purpose so well, i don't know all right man because when it goes under peg i mean you're gonna have a lot of clowns <laughs> to buy back so yeah, i don't know man <clears throat> But anyway, it's 2.17 above peg for Phantom, which actually isn't that bad, right? Because it's only $2.62. Because Phantom is getting cucked so bad. It's got, it still has very good TVL. And, you know, the share price actually isn't that high. It's high enough to provide a really good APR. But it's not so high that you won't get the you know, hyper dump, which might actually cause a lot of selling pressure on every everything else. So that's why I don't mind this so much. And of course it's unyieldable because I literally found it there. So decent TVL locked and paying a crazy amount of money. So smart APR system, already on yield wolf, safe project to me. And of course paying out pretty much the most APR of all my other projects, literally. I know, so obviously I expect this to go down, especially after this video, right? Because all you Pepegas are going to ape into this, most likely, or at least put in some money, right? So these are your farms, right? Here's your boardroom called the Hamster Wheel. Funny enough, it actually just got started, the boardroom, so this is going to be kind of nice. So just be aware that the boardroom hasn't started yet, so... I don't know. Yeah, there's already 2.31 shares in play. So you could expect a little bit of a dump. In my case, I only put in 33 bucks, and I kind of don't care. So I'm just going to DCA in later tonight. Actually, I want to prefer to do it maybe. You know what I mean? I might actually DCA in uh, in a couple hours. I don't know. I took profit last night. So I still need my tomb fork position as a little bit of time to, you know, grow. Right? So I don't want to keep taking profit too quickly. Because I wanted to keep compounding, compounding, compounding. Right, because I was actually gonna up my pulse Dow FTM uh, position on Yield Wolf, but now that this is out with a higher APR, I'm probably gonna do this instead. And again, the base numbers don't look too bad, but I am still expecting this to go down a little bit. So, so what makes this Tomb Fork a little different is they actually are planning to release an NFT game. It, they actually have the date around here, but I'll just tell you what it is. They said it's around March 14th, so that's actually this coming Monday. So within a week of opening the boardroom, the hamster team will deploy the NFT game based on the famous wolf game, Hamsters and Owls. I don't know what that is. The game will collect commissions, and that will be used solely to buy ham. So that's your base Pepega token here. I keep thinking of food, which makes sense because it's ham to buy ham and bond it when it is under peg. So this is another income source. So this is actually a really good project already. The game will also have a secondary NFT market because they assume you'll have hamsters and wolves or whatever you do in the game. Where all game NFTs will be sold for... The game will have a secondary NFT market where all the game NFTs will be sold for ham only, driving the buying pressure up on hamster. Players will then trade these NFTs on the built-in NFT marketplace. So this is kind of like buying a pet or buying a mon built into a tomb fork. Wow, so these guys are actually, these guys are serious. I can see why Yield Wolf already like listed these guys. So of course your standard six hours for an epoch. You can, uh, and you're stuck in the boardroom for 36 hours. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't care about that. And then, okay, so here's your distribution of the rewards for the Dow Treasury. Okay, so, yeah, so you can just look right here. But this is a lot to me. But, again, they did, it did, it does, it does sound like I think I read, again, I read somewhere where they actually want to keep it near the peg. Okay, well, I mean, they obviously know how to code, assuming everything that we're reading here is true. So, blah, 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 blah. Uh, hamster wheel debt phase, 65% expansion, blah, blah, Okay, well, they're going pretty high to up to. Okay, so this is the only thing that I really care about, right? Because sometimes it's a little hard for me. I can still calculate manually, but I have to keep going in and out of the pools and then try to figure out what the APR is for the base token LP versus the share LP, and then eventually the other pools. And then I have to then factor in the total value locked. So there's a lot of distortions. 
But usually, they always put it here in the documentation, how they're actually distributing the rewards. So it's going to be over 12 months, and of course, intelligently, you know, they overweight the rewards towards the base pay token. So that's right there, uh, smart APR system, all right? It's not as good as Code Sevens, right? And you'll notice that Code Seven, as of this video, is under a shit ton of pressure, right? You know, it's like, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little leery about this. However, because of this NFT game thing, and assuming that that, that it comes out Monday, you know, this will actually probably do. Because people love NFT games. Look at Krabata game, right, on Avax, the gas hogger there, right? I mean, thank God they have the subnet, so eventually that should go away, the gas hogging, but. You know, it's still in uh, alpha test phase, so I still see people still in Krabana games still using AVAX instead of subnets, so I guess they're just a little nervous or they're waiting for bug fixes or whatever. Yeah, but I like, but I do like these NFT games. I just, the only reason why I don't play them is because I don't want to have like six games to manage every single day. It's very time consuming, but they do look a lot, they do look fun. You know, there was a pizza game that released on AVAX. You got this hamster wheel game on Phantom, right? And of course, you got Krabata game, right? I, I personally would play Krabata game because they call themselves an idle game. I always play idle games. You know, I just don't have time to play any like hardcore games, you know? So this is looking pretty good. This is looking really, really good. I'm actually kind of curious to see, you know, what happens with this. Of course, I'm not going to play the game, right? But, you know, obviously, I'm just going to invest in the project. So let's find out how old is this project? Yeah, look, like Yield Wolf already listed these guys, right? And yes, they do require that you renounce the base, uh, the base peg token as a minimum requirement, and then all the other stuff they do on case by case basis, because that's actually what it says in the Discord. I actually asked the uh, Pink Wolf, whatever her name is, right, in Discord, and she got back to me uh, when I asked about the criteria. So this released four days ago. So this is literally a four-day-old project. Um, I guess I could do... What did I set over here? I did one-hour chart, yeah. So yeah, this released four days ago. So it's already, like, all over the place. And then, of course, here's your Yield Wolf. So I'm going to refresh this one more time. So people are really liking this. In fact, the APR just went up, so that's really nice for me. Sadly, I'm only uh, $33 in uh, this little dinky position. Because, you know, all my money is just tied up. It's like, all the good stuff happens in the morning, but I take profits at night. <sighs> what a shame. I mean, I theoretically could, if I wanted to, actually just take a little bit away from all of my positions and then beef up my hamster FTM positions. I could actually do that, actually. And then I don't take profit tonight. I, do, I wait until tomorrow night. So basically, I would give myself 36 hours. And then I could take advantage of this 32%. You know what? I actually might do that. I really don't want to do that, but I think it might be worth it in a hamster's case. Yeah, my position went from $33. Now it's worth $34.45. And I've already printed 1.1... 1 .1, I'm on my Chrome, so you can't see it. I already printed my 1.166% of tokens. Yeah, last compound was three minutes ago. Yeah, people are uh, coming into this project. So, you know what, I think I'm going to actually, you know what, I'm going to probably upload the video after I move money into this. So I have to move one, two, three, four projects. What's the gas, what's the gas fee right now? Oh, yeah, I'm totally going to do that. So, uh, like, subscribe, share. <laughs> And um, thanks for all the new people watching this channel. But I need to go make money, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dip out, right? So uh, here are all the links. Uh, I'm gonna actually upload the video after I get myself into this position, and then after that, it's like, well, I wish I could put in more money, but hey, you know what? I live in the moment, all right. I stay present with God, as JLP always teaches, and He'll just show me the way. All right, and then when he tells me answers, I tell you, and then you decide what you want to do with it. So uh, I think that's the only video I'm doing today. I don't know if I'm doing any videos tomorrow. And again, you know, with the exception of Basic Black uh, Tomb Fork, which is technically an experimental Tomb Fork, right, for, for Poseidon Black, uh, 
I don't know if I'll be doing a video tomorrow. So plus, you know, I've been doing a lot of videos re uh, the, the past few weeks, especially this week. So I wouldn't mind, you know, a little bit of a rest period. So I don't know. But I still feel good physically. So I mean, I still I better because you know, because next time the an angry looking homeless guy wants to you know actually kick my ass, you know, I better be in good shape to you know you know fight fight him off. So. All right, so yeah, so I I might see you guys tomorrow, if not just whenever, right? Because I'm still waiting on Rare Finance Yield Wolf. I'm waiting on Zombie Finance Yield Wolf, assuming they get on. They should. Um, so we'll see about that. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, we got Arctic Fox uh, Yield Wolf as well. I think I'm actually not going to do the LP on there, or no, they're doing the Genesis pull in a few hours. That's it. I don't know. Maybe I should actually. It could be a lot of money. I don't know. I'll 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 see what to do. All right. So I'll see you. I'll I'll see you whenever. I got a lot of work to do today. Surprisingly. All right. Thanks.